to be today. Oh, but hey, here's a good parking spot right in front. So that way I can just load the stuff in my car and put the cart back. Okay. Got it. All right, let's get in here. Well, I'm gonna put my mask on first. For one. And then I gotta find many. I suppose that may be something that go into a dang feed store even as somebody that doesn't own a barn you're coming out spending almost 200 bucks crazy crazy anyway you can kind of see what I got when I loaded her up I got two bags of alfalfa pellets a bag of beet pulp um, I only got one bag of beet pulp because I just wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy using it because the only one they had had molasses in it. So I don't know that Riddy is going to do well with that, but we'll see. It's got some sugar in it, but anyway. Um, and then I got a bag of Outlast, which I really enjoy. It works really well. I noticed a huge difference when I had them on it but I ran out so now I am going to kind of give them a scoop of alfalfa and a half a scoop of um, Outlast to go like in with like their after workout snack for the most part basically is, is what it is um, 
so that's I kind of got that stuff for me so I was talking to Stacy yesterday on a potentially going like grain free completely with them um, so that may be a thing in the future I got the bags I got each of them a salt block to put in their stalls he loves his salt black especially in the summer when it's too cold you really can't do do this but you mix liniment in a bucket and just throw a sponge in there and instead of or you can hose it like if your horse is like super 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 sweaty obviously hose them down first but then take the sponge with the liniment water and rub them down and rub it down on their legs and that I, I notice a huge, huge, huge difference like in the winter time. I mean, I know winter time they get a little bit stiffer, but when it's too cold and I can't do that, I notice a huge difference the next day. So giving them like a little rub down with some liniment and water quite literally makes such a difference that, I mean, it's one of the best ways to prevent injuries. I mean, really it is. I mean, because the liniment just helps soothe the muscles after a hard workout, like it's great. And I do, I like looking back on it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like my hands have started hurting so freaking bad. And I know I've been riding a lot more and I know I've been like doing, you know, using the, you know, like doing that, like I know I've been doing that a lot more, but af like after fall, is really when it started hurting and I realized it started hurting more because I wasn't using the liniment water. So I'm not, I didn't have my hands in the bucket in the liniment water, putting it on the horses. And I was like, hmm. So if that is not a testament to how great liniment helps soothe muscles and joints, I don't know what it is. So summertime is where I'm gonna thrive in my pain relief in my hands because I'm gonna be using liniment water three times a day on my horses. <laughs> being so good man this is the indoor which you've seen already but we are gonna head down and ride somewhere other than an arena for the first time ever good boy good boy it's like this is concerning you're good boy. Hi Riggs. So yes, I've never ridden him outside of an arena before. He's very concerned. Ah, ah, ah. Quit. Go boy. We're a lot more brave now, aren't we? Because you're such a good man. We're walking up hills, aren't we? Good boy. I mean, I don't know what his past history is, but he acts like he's, um, never been ridden like on a trail or outside an arena and whether or not that's true or not I, again I have no clue I can't imagine he's never been on a trail ride or like ridden in a pasture before but he definitely acted like he has never done that so come on 
He's definitely starting to relax where now he's like, oh my God, this is grass. Just a couple bites at a time, bud. Cause you got to beat it. Yum, yum, yum. But he's definitely, <laughs> no. Probably shouldn't have started letting you do that, but it calmed him down. Good boy. That's so good. You're such a good man. If we come out and do this as often as we can, walking up and down these hills and stuff is going to be really, really good to strengthen his hind end and his top line and his back and all of that. So I'm very, very excited. And not that I didn't really have this before. Uh, because there's pastures at Lake St. Louis stables and hills and stuff like that. But it's just, you had to, like, you couldn't walk from the barn to get in there. Like, you had to get off, open the gate, or open the gate beforehand, and then walk through. And, like, there wasn't, it wasn't just open like this. Good boy. It just wasn't open like this, like it is here. So, um, I can literally, there's so much stuff for him to look at and to see and to freak out about and, you know, just internalize and just think through that, I mean, it just is very, this is a very good, good place for him to be right now, I think. I know the porta potty is scary, isn't it? Very scary porta potty. Oh my God, the most scary, huh? boy she's dragging the outdoor right now so I rode him in the indoor a little bit and just worked on transitions and just trying to get him loosed, loosened up and listening and I just got him in the snaffle today I really like the bit that he's in it's a Herm Springer I think it's a KK something or other um I got it on a stupid sale at um let me flip you around but on like stupid sale <laughs> the view from Zeke very tall um at Lake St. or not at Lake Saint, at the tack trunk and so it uh it was like 70 bucks and normally they're like 280 something so I actually got it for Renita because I didn't have Zeke at the time yet and it ends up fitting him and he seems to go really well in it so I'm keeping this on his snaffle bridle and we'll go from there but yeah it's just like just out having some fun honestly is like the end all be all cure all for depression is this right here it's here right bud
And that mare has kind of been out on a field. So I think if I did get her,
Uh, so mine was perfect. We just jumped all our cars. Don't you jump? It was perfect. That was really fun. <laughs> dun dun, were you so good? Dude, and Hackamore too, man. He really likes his Hackamore. I really like his Hackamore. He listens in it. He stops. He does all of the things in it. He's good. He loves <laughs> As you freaking spook. You've been here before. You know what that is. Don't be a shit. You almost got me off on that one. Oh my god, he's so good. I'm so thrilled. You're all proud of yourself, buddy. <laughs> For so long